Welcome to Pokemon Center Sapporo, my 8th Pokemon Center and a tour that is going to have some new Pokemon. If you can see in there, we have the Scarlet and Violet starters. To this tour hopefully you guys like these type of videos i'm gonna be saying we're almost at a thousand subscribers so once we get to a thousand subscribers we're giving away the hisuian growlithe i need to give it to one of you guys so once you guys get us to a thousand subscribers the giveaway commences all right let's get the tour going pokemon center sapporo so the statues in the front we have pikachu of course we have alolan vulpix which makes perfect sense for Hokkaido. And then we have Sobble. Good old Sobble. Oh my goodness. This is the new one. They have the new one too. Ah, uh, this is my favorite. He looks like an apple dinosaur. He's really adorable. I want this starter. And this Better. is the water. You like this one? Better than I thought. I don't even know any of their names. A bucket full of them. Each one's 2,000. I've never seen it. It's a Krogunk bean bag. <laughs> you can squish it. And Dinden. Dinden. They're so soft and fat. Oh, now he's puffy. You can sit on it. So they have small versions of it too. They have the cat, the green cat. I don't even know the names. They have the little fire dinosaur keychain and then the ducklet. It's not a ducklet though, it's a duck though. The water duck. Hey, you reserved the games. Which one would you get? Scarlet and Violet. I want Violet. Although I think the dragon or whatever they are, the red monster and the purple monster. I think the purple one looks better here. This is easier to see. The red one and the purple one. Japanese names are Nyauha. Like a cat sound. Yeah. And then Hogeta. What's Hogeta? He doesn't even know, it's a question mark. And then quacks. Like the sound of duck makes. So they look like this. Little characters. So you got Pikachu, Slowpoke, Yamper, Gengar. But in reality, they're little bags you can carry to the grocery store. Tomorrow at Pokemon Go Fest, you're gonna get this one. This one right here. I always thought the Soda Pop Raichu looks cool. For last time there was Smoochum, Fampy, and a couple others. But now there's Oddish, which this might be the best looking Oddish I've seen. And of course the Raichu. This is a good Raichu too. And I guess we can add Fat Psyduck. The trio look pretty cool. The two of my favorites in the first generation right there. And then Psyduck. Basagari. They now have a plush, although it's not plush, it's very hard. It's a Japanese oh name anyways. Oh, it's movable? Ah. Well, that's interesting. Ow. Well, that just looks wrong. <laughs> we have this as well. I think this one moves as well with the arms. Yeah. It's not plush, these are like movable. Bean bag, mini keychain bean bag, slowpoke. Why is he so he's so fat? And of course Piplup, which makes sense. Penguins are fat. Bubbly hour. This is a pouch with Maril. It's water Pokemon basically on it. Piplup all on it. Little slippers that you can have. I don't know, walk around the house with these. Or about 18 bucks. 18 bucks for these? They look a little flimsy. For all you yoga people out there, there's a huge yoga mat for about 40 bucks. Here, yoga mat. 
All right. Then there is a Merrill towel. That's cute. It's actually very cute. He's so round. He's happy. Then what do we have here? We have mats. It looks like a very soft rug. Pip whoops on it. Pretty cool. And you got a bag. Is it like a carrying bag? Oh, it's like this bag. Details look like this. Same design as on everything else of this bubbly hour item. And then you have, it looks like a towel. Maybe a huge cushion or a towel. These are washable. They're so, they feel like quarter, not corduroy, but they definitely feel washable. Like it's a different material. It's not a plush, it's not soft. It's a little rough. But there's a Pikachu. There's Eevee. There's Mew. And then there's two more. We have Piplup right here. And then Poplio. So which is the best one? Which one would you get? I believe this one would be my choice. Good old rough Poplio. Instructions say. You can carry it around, you can eat with it, play with it, and then it has it's dirty, you can clean it. You see if you dirty it, you can just put it in the water and wash it easily. And then dry it as such. And then just let it sit there like this. This is a bubbly hour, you can have a squeegee, a pip up squeegee, where you can clean yourself. Is it called a squeegee? I don't know what these are called. Loofas. These are loofahs for you in the shower. You clean yourself with it. Oh, so you sit in these little chairs in Japan, so they have that. It won't be in America, so. But you take a bath with these or shower, and then I guess this is the bowl that you would clean yourself with in the shower. So all this is shower related items. Expensive too, 5,000 yen. That's 50 bucks. This towel is okay. Looks pretty nice. Flip it over. In camera, it looks really nice. Oh, there's a blue side to it. Bubbly hour. I hadn't heard of bubbly hour. If you had to choose of these three right here, these three big guns, which one would you pick? This one, this one, or this one? Maybe this one. Cyndaquil? Oh, he's huge! <laughs> it's so heavy. How much does it weigh? Oh my god, you do not throw babies. The Hokkaido one has a whole lot of items from previous months all here still. And what I've noticed is a lot of Pokemon on the walls that are rather large, they're not the mini ones. Like, I have a Belossum, but this Belossum is even bigger than the one I have. And this guy's is chunky. So chunky. This keychain is, I thought it was like, you know, you flip it and it'll change, but it's not a flip. It's a turn it and it'll change. That's pretty cool. Same with this one. Let's see if we can get it. Pikachu, turn it. He's happy, angry, happy. This is pretty cool. Ponyta, you can sort of see it change into Galarian ponytail. Oh, it's tough. There it is. The angles on a camera is tough. Pop sockets. I just bought one and I'm surprised that they even had them at the store. I wish I could have had this one right here. It's a cool one, but it's $22. It's pretty expensive, honestly. This is a pile of Pokeballs. You can get these Pokemon inside this ball. It's random. So you buy it and you have a chance to get one of these nine. The real question, guys, I want to buy one of these starters since it's uh, apparently the announcement was just made. Which one should I buy? Should I buy the cat, the dinosaur, or should I get the water duck? I'm leaning towards this guy and owning my first dinosaur. Golem, Azumarill. He's adorable. Oh, this is regular. Two different regions. Gastrodon. Two different types, just like the shovels. Lucario. 
He doesn't look as good. I wish his snowboard looked a little better. Yeah, Tangela to evolve for him. Tangrowth. Toga kiss. <laughs> this looks like a melted slime. Melted slime magnezone. Yes, every single substitute size. They've got the large size. Oh, they're hard. Got the mini size, much softer. Got the, I think this is the big size. What do they call it? They call it the Elfun no Migawari. Pokemon Jelly. We have our jellies again. But different Pokemon on top of it. We have Sylveon, we have Dragonite, Charmander, Squirtle, Tortwig. So the new game, Scarlet and Violet, are coming out on the 18th of November. I'm sure everyone knows that because it's worldwide. But a double pack is here, which is really cool. And you have your Scarlet, Violet. Which monster looks better? I usually think the monsters, at least these, these legendaries, look... They get worse and worse, and I just don't know about these. Like, the starters are fine, but these legendaries... I have some qualms about it. I'm just not sure. If I had to choose, I'm getting Violet. I like how it looks. But... They're, they're getting very Digimon-like. And if I was playing the game, I want to get this starter in the game. But me, my brother, and my friend, we always play as me as the water version, my friend as the fire version, and my brother is the grass. So, I'm gonna end up using this duck, but I'm gonna feel so much FOMO because I don't get to use this guy. He looks the coolest. I love his mouth, his sh like, the sh just the shape, his fatness, he's, he's the cute one. This is just a cat, which reminds me of Litten, and this is just a duck, which reminds me of Ducklet and many others, so... This guy is the most original, in my opinion. If you're gonna choose which one you had to start with, leave in the comments below which one you would actually want to use. And it looks like we're ending up buying the red one. Dinosaur. Hey, he looks so great. He even sits so nicely. What'd you guys think of the Sapporo Pokemon Center? Pokemon Center Sapporo, what'd you guys think? Leave in the comments below which one was your favorite. And what was your favorite starter? That's right. What was your favorite thing that you saw in the store today? These three. These three. These guys right here at the entrance, she says. Well, I'm gonna see you guys next time. My favorite thing was the item that I got, which was the starting dinosaur. The red guy with the big mouth. Thanks for watching the video. That was the Pokemon Center. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that tour. That was the August tour. So many new items, including the three starters for the Scarlet and Violet versions. So, now that we have those guys, maybe there's going to be new Pokemon coming very soon as the upcoming games get out. So maybe there's going to be a lot of new plushes. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to continue to go once a month. And I have the GoFest to do. Yeah. Hopefully I get this video out before I do the GoFest. I don't know. Either one, you're going to see one of these videos at some point in time. I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Video's dying or camera's dying. I'll see you guys. Peace out.